All right, 2.1, electric field and direction of current, okay? So basically, it's two in one subtopic lah, all right? So first thing first, you need to know what is the meaning of electric field, okay? Electric field is where the electric charge is acted upon by an electric force. It simply means there is an electric force which is pushing the electron to move, okay? So that's why they say electric charge is acted upon by an electric force, which means there is a force, there is an electrical force which is pushing the electric charge, okay? All right, next, number two, the question asks you what is the meaning of current direction, okay? Current direction means, okay, it moves on the opposite direction of the electron, okay? Now, what does it mean? For example, now, let's say, uh, okay, we have an electron here, okay? Let's say now this is an electron, and assuming now that the electron is moving from left going to the right, okay? So now the red color one here will be the movement of electron, okay? It will be the movement of electron. Now, if the movement of electron is from the left to the right, there will be another movement which is moving from the right to, to the right to the left. And it is the opposite of the electron of movement, okay? And that one there will be known as the current direction, okay? The movement of the current. So always remember, huh? the current direction is the opposite of the movement of electron, okay? All right, so this is the first part you all need to know, huh? okay? So in your exam paper two, they might ask you, what is the meaning of electric field? Electric field, you can say, is electric charge which is acted upon the electrical force and what is current direction it is the opposite of the electron so these are the two things you all need to know all right okay next the second one which you'll be learning inside this topic is something we call as the electric field okay the second one is something we call as the electric field okay now when we speak about the electric field right the electric field you got two charge you all need to remember okay you got two charges which you all need to remember the first one is the positive charge and the second one is the negative charge, okay? Now, you need to remember this, huh? if it's positive, if it's positive, the filler will move out, okay? If it's positive, the filler will move out and if the filler is negative, the filler will move in, okay? Just remember this, huh? when it comes to the electrical field, Positive, it moves out, and negative, it moves in. Sir, what do you mean? For example, now let's say I have a particle here, and the particle is positive, okay? The particle here is positive. Now, what is the electrical field of the positive particle? Very simple. When you want to draw the electrical field, you will draw eight lines, okay? Four like this, and another four will be slanting like this, okay? Now, because it says it moves out, huh? positive because it says it moves out, therefore, the arrow will be going on top like this. Okay, it will be going outside. Okay, the akan keluar, it moves out like this. Okay, so this is the movement of positive. Sir, what about negative? For negative, okay, I'm going to draw the same thing. Okay, so assuming now negative, we have a particle here and this particle is negative. How is the electrical field? Same thing, you are going to draw eight lines like this, okay? And because the particle is negative, therefore it moves in. So the arrow goes in like this, okay? All right? That's why they say, if you can see the point here, if you can see the point here, it says the negative charge will go in and the positive charge will go out. That's what it means, lah. okay? The characteristics of, of the electrical field lines Negative charge will go in while the positive charge will go out, okay? All right. Now, this is the first part you all need to know, okay? All right. So, once you already study this, next. When we also, we also have known this since our primary school, huh? we have also learned this in our primary school, where they say if there is anything with the same charges, okay? If there is anything with the same charges, it will repel each other, okay? If it's the same charges, it will repel each other. Now, the question I'm going to explain to you is why 
will the fella repel each other. Okay. Now, the reason the particles which have the same charges repel each other, it is because of this. Assuming now we have two positive particles here, one particle here which is positive, and there is another particle here which is positive. You see, when it comes to positive, the current flow will move out. Okay, the electrical field, huh? it moves out. Huh? So positive, it moves out. Positive, it moves out. Now, what you can see here is that there are two forces coming at the same direction. So because there are two forces coming at the same direction, what happens is it will move like this. Okay, can you see it? It will move something like this, causing a point X to occur here. Okay, there'll be a point X being produced here. So why there is a point X there? The point X is there because there is no force. Okay, there is no force of attraction. That means there is nothing which is pulling it together. So because there is no force of attraction, therefore it will repel. So that's why when it comes to the same charges, it will repel. Whereby if it's a different charge, okay, let me erase this. Huh? So let's say now if there is a different charge, it will attract. We also know this, okay. If there is a different charge, okay, therefore it will attract each other. And why is that? Very simple. You see, if you are taking the positive one, remember the positive, it moves out. And if you take the negative one, it moves in. So now assuming we have one particle positive and we have another particle negative. Remember, the electric field from the positive, it will move out to the negative. So this is how it moves, okay? This is the electrical field when it comes to positive and negative. That's why when it has a different charge, okay, when it has a different charge, it will attract each other, okay? So this will produce something we call as an attraction force, okay? There'll be an attraction, okay? So that's why picture number one is explaining about this. So if you can see here, there are four pictures here. First, let's look at picture number one, okay? So you can see picture number one here, which is this one here. This is what I'm explaining about, okay? What you can see is that the positive is being, is moving to the negative. Why? Because that is how it is attracted, okay? So there is an attraction force over there, all right? Whereby, if you look at picture number two, there is no force here which is pulling it together. That's why it will be repelled, okay? If it has the same charges, it will be repelled. Next, let's look at picture number three, okay? Because the positive part here is moving in a circle. Because it moves in a circle, therefore, it's at all direction. The electrical field is at all direction, okay? So because it's at all direction, okay? That's why when I have a negative pole here, it will be like a curve moving like this, okay? Because the shape is a circle, okay? That's why it moves in a curve like this. It's actually producing like a circular shape. But if you look at picture number four, right? Okay, if you look at picture number four, picture number four, we have a straight rod here, okay? It is straight and this is positive. And we have another one here, which is negative. So you can see it's moving straight. Why? Because both are the same size and the same shape. So that's why it will produce a straight line like this, okay? So if they ask you what is the characteristics of the electrical field, remember the first two points, okay? It's negative that goes in and positive that goes out. That's why it will move from positive to negative, okay? And if you can see here, the charges, they do not cross each other. Sir, what is the meaning of do not cross? Example, I have one like this and I have another one like this. It will not move like this. Huh? It will not go this way and it will not go this way. No, it will move in a straight line. So point number three, it doesn't cross each other. It is 90 degrees from the surface. So if you can see here, let's say I'm taking this picture here. Okay, let's say now I'm drawing something here and I'm drawing a charges which is straight like this. What you can see is that it's actually 90 degrees from the surface, okay? And you also need to know if there is more lines in the picture, it simply means that the electrical field strength is higher, okay? So these are the characteristics of the electrical field lines, okay? So if there's any question, remember you can always WhatsApp me or you can 
Facebook me or Telegram me or you can personal chat me on Zoom, all right? So this is the first part that you all need to know, okay? It's basically about electric current and the direction of the current. That's the first thing you study, all right? Okay, now moving on. Let's look at some questions here. Huh? Let's look at the experiment-based questions, all right? So first, we're talking about the ping-pong ball, okay? Now, first thing first, in this situation, what happens is, huh? let's say now the ball is neutral, okay? Let's say now in this situation, the ball is neutral. Sir, what is the meaning of neutral? Neutral simply means that the amount of positive is equivalent to the amount of negative. Now, many students think that neutral means no charges. No, there is charges. It's just that the positive and the negative are the same thing. Okay. Now, if let's say you take a ball which is neutral and then you park it near in between a pole which has positive. So, the one on the X is positive and the one here, the Y here, which is negative, you will notice that the ball will not move. Okay. You will notice that the ball will not move. Why will the ball not move? Okay, because the charges of the ball are balanced. Therefore, the ball will be balanced in the middle because the positive and the negative value is the same. Now, what you're going to do is you are going to take this ball, okay, this green color ball, and you are going to push it towards X. That means you have pushed the ball towards the positive pole. Now, what will happen here? What will happen to the positive pole? Now, remember the formula here. Yeah, Remember the formula here. Always, when it comes to the movement, it will always be the positive, which is the one moving to the negative. So what happens is, when you bring the ball towards here, okay, when you bring the ball towards here, remember, this ball is neutral. If the ball is neutral, means it has positive electrons and it has also negative Electrons. It has the positive ions and it also has the negative ions. Because it has the positive ions in the ball, because it has the positive ions in the ball, what it does is it will start to attract all the positive ions from the pole here. Okay, from this from this piece here, all the positive ions will be attracted to the ball, which means now the ball has got more positive ions okay it has got more positive ions when the ball has got more positive ions it simply means that now the ball is positive now think logically if the ball becomes positive and on the other side we have a negative thing here what will happen the ball will then swing towards the negative pole okay the ball will be attracted towards the negative thing here okay so that is what this experiment is telling you all about when you bring it closer the ball is replaced to the positive plate and therefore the ball becomes positive okay because it becomes positive it will move away from the plate and it swings to the negative plate okay it moves away from the plate and swings to the negative plate so that is what this experiment is telling you so once it has reached here. Once it has reached here, remember, the positive ball earlier is now here. So when the ball here becomes positive, okay, when the ball positive, it flows to Y, okay, remember, Y is the negative and X is the positive. So now when the X, the ball, it moves to the Y, what happens is Y is negative. It will attract all the positive from here. That means that inside the ball, we had a lot of positive ions. And what happens is the positive ions will be attracted here. Okay? Which means all the positive ions will now move to the negative. And what happens in this situation? When the positive all go, therefore the ball becomes negative. Why? Because there will be more negative ions compared to positive and when there is more negative ions compared to positive it simply means that now the ball is negative so because the ball is negative and this is also a negative plate it will repel and it will go towards the positive and the process happens again so what is the explanation that explanation is here the ball is negative and because the ball is negative the ball moves away from the plate and it swings to the positive plate so it's the same concept happening here okay it is the same concept happening from the second picture and the 
third picture. Okay, so these pictures are explained to you the experiment of the ping pong ball experiment. Okay, this is called the ping pong ball experiment. Now there's an experiment, another experiment that you all need to know, which is the candle flame experiment. Okay, which is the candle flame experiment. Okay, now let's look at this picture here. Yeah? First, starting with the first picture. Now, you see when you take a candle and you light it up, right? You will see there is only one flame there, okay? Why? Because at this situation, there is no electrical field. Huh? You pay close attention here. Huh? There is no electrical field, but here it is connected to EHT, okay? That means there is an electrical field there, okay? Now, when it becomes, when there is an electrical field there, what happens is all the negative will be attracted to the positive, okay? So now, let's say in this situation now, because the EHT here, they say is positive and here is negative. Therefore, this side becomes the positive pole and this side will become the negative pole. So in the fire, there is already a positive and negative thing here. Okay, When it talks to normal fire, there is already a positive and negative thing here. And always remember the positive are always equal to the negative. This is a standard situation. Huh? But what happens is when you're on the switch, what happens is it starts to separate. It starts to separate. Now, many students have a look like this. Huh? Okay, now what happens is huh? they will see the flame whereby one part here will be greater. And if you notice the other part here, okay, let me just use a different color. Huh? Another part here will be the smaller one. Okay, and usually the smaller ones are the negative and the larger ones will be the positive. It is always like that. Okay, but again, you need to check out the question where it goes to okay so if you can see here why the orange color is going here because the orange color is negative therefore negative will be attracted to the positive plate okay and the on the other hand the one here is positive so positive will be attracted to the negative side so sir how do we explain this situation in word form that the notes are here already okay so, what are they saying that is, okay, the heat energy of a burning gas in a candle produces positive and negative ions, okay? So, remember this, huh? when we talk about the burning gas in the flame, it produces positive and negative. That means both also have, okay? All right. Now, we know that the positive ions are attracted towards the negative plate and the ions which are negative are attracted towards the positive plate, okay? Now, how you want to know where goes where? Very simple. If the portion of fire is greater, if the portion of fire is greater, which means it has heavier ions. So, when you look at this situation here, this side is more heavy and this side falls on positive. That's why they say the positive ions have heavier, are heavier because the portion of the fire is greater. And of course, if it's lesser, it means that the positive ions is lighter, the portion of the fire will be lesser, okay? So students, this will be your first part in your 2.1 subtopic, okay? This will be your first part in your chapter 2, which is about electricity. 